Alrighty guys, and welcome back to another LEGO minifigure showcase from Brick by Brick. And today we have the Series 2 Mime minifigure. This guy's pretty cool. He's uh, one of the most interesting minifigures in Series 2. Um, I guess not interesting, but one of the best, I think, looking minifigures. They haven't, like, redone or made better. This one's really cool. I really like the way this mime figure looks. It does come with three heads, which is pretty cool. He's the only minifigure to come with uh, three heads, really. Um, the thespian comes with two heads, but, you know, one of them's not meant for wearing. So, the mime minifigure, um, this is his happy version. He has a happy version. A sad version and a scared version. Um, the happy version here. Um, he's got a nice happy face. I really kind of like the way that that looks. Um, you can see his jacket and striped shirt. He's all 100% black and white. His arm printing is pretty cool. This was one of the first couple of minifigures they printed the arms on. The first one in the minifigures theme, I think. And uh, it's just got black stripes. It's pretty basic printing, but it looks pretty cool. And um, he has no leg printing, so very simple in that aspect. And uh, he comes with this cool beret piece, which was brand new to this guy. And uh, it was since used in the artist minifigure. And um, I think it's probably been used on someone else, at least. I know it will be used next year in the Ghostbusters HQ set um, on the zombie taxi driver. But, um, yeah. So, let's take off his happy expression. And... Give him a new one. There we go. His, sorry, his head's just a little... Hot. Like, his heads are just a little hard to get on and take off. So his terrified expression here um, looks pretty cool. I mean, it's again 100% black and white. It is a little weird how his um, eyebrows kind of basically touch his... Um, they basically touch his beret, but, you know, I mean, it is what it is. And definitely... Pretty cool um, alternate expressions, but um, this is the only minifigure in the minifigures theme to come with three facial expressions. Unless you count the thespian as having um, three facial expressions because he has a double-sided face, and he comes with the extra skull piece, which he's not supposed to wear, technically. And his sad expression, the mind sad expression, is the simplest of them all. Um, you know, because it's just a sad expression, just a frowny face. Um, but it is pretty cool, and again, it will have its uses when you are miming or, I don't know, whatever you do with your mime minifigure, this will be useful. So, and um, the other thing about having three faces, three head pieces, is that he can juggle his heads, basically. He can hold both his heads. Sometimes it's nice to, exp um, you know, pose him in this way. Looks pretty cool. Definitely a nice way to pose the minifigure. I guess it's best when you have the, uh, the happy face on. I'm just gonna pull him to the side and do that real quick. Uh, that one wasn't that hard to take off. And I dropped a happy face. And by the way, guys, um, just some news. I am working on building a minifigure spinner for my minifigure showcases so that I can showcase these minifigures a little bit more effectively with, you know, less hands. Um, yeah, so that should be done in the future. Um, I'm trying to figure out what I should use for, like, a base, but, that sh like, in the future, it should be coming up. No, um, and it's probably not too far away. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe if you did. And have a fantastic day. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.